It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I want to say a massive thank you to Håkan in Sweden for sending me another Russian Imperial Stout. This is by Vamdo Brewery in Sweden. It's the Skagards Project 005 and it's a Saffron Imperial Stout coming in at 11% ABV. That just looks amazing. Uh, we have a gold bottle cap with a bit of print on there. There you go. Uh, without further ado, let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass. Oh, uh, one finger tan coloured head that's dissipating really quickly. You can, you can hear it. Maybe you heard the end of it past me talking. But yeah, that's dissipated quite quickly now, that head. It's a jet black beer in the glass. It looks to be more like a dry Irish stout. Now, dry Irish stouts are quite thin. Uh, naturally, there's a little bit of thinness there. But, um, I mean, ideally, if I can be perfectly honest with you, I'd love to see it being big and thick and gloopy and, you know, the head retention's massive. And But you can't always get Imperial Stouts to do that. Um, I think you have to add a ton of oats to get, it, to get it to kind of stick like that. And not every brewer and not every person wants a uh, sticky big, thick, gloopy Imperial Stout. I mean, I do all of the time, but yeah, not everybody do, d does. And, and I suppose if I'm, uh, as being a beer reviewer, I need to look at the other side of the fence. I need to look at the other side of the argument where maybe people would rather Im an Imperial Stout with some refreshment. No light bleeding through the glass. Let's get the aroma. A little bit of carbonation. Ooh, for what it lacks in body though, it's got a fantastic aroma. Chocolate, coffee, caramel. Tobacco smoke. Bitter dark chocolate, bitter coffee. Oh, it smells amazing. I'm going to dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Hawkan. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh wow, what flavour! Wow, loads of flavour! Cool. Wow, blimey! Um, chocolate, coffee, caramel, figs, prune, plum, lots of dark fruit flavours coming through. Oh, there's something there. There's something there that's really familiar to me. It's really, really familiar, but I can't quite nail what it is. I'm trying to work out if it's a bit of a nuttiness in there. Or it's got a bit of Turkish delight or something like that about it. I used to go up to my grandfather's house and my grandfather was a lover of buying they used to have like um they used to like save up coupons and stuff and they used to have like savers clubs and 
it was a weird thing back in the 80s. It's a bit like the internet is today, but you'd pay somebody money every month and you'd end up having stuff in the post. And it would be like weird chocolates. And it was always cheap chocolate. It was always cheap chocolate. And this tastes like the 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 cheap either Turkish delight or the the cheap alcohol bottles used to get the chocolate bottles with the alcohol in it's got like a, a, a feeling of that going on it's a fantastic flavor because it reminds me of my childhood it reminds me of the coupon clubs and the and the where you pay somebody monthly and they were ripping you off they were completely ripping you off because they were sending you a load of junk in the post i'm not saying i'm not saying this beer has been brewed with a load of cheap ingredients i'm not saying that at all i'm just saying some of the flavors in this beer remind me of my childhood visiting my grandparents house every friday night Raisin, plum, prune, fig, caramel, toffee, bitter chocolate. The beer itself doesn't have to have a big, thick, creamy, dense mouthfeel. It's just got its own, like, its own presence, its own way of, way of being a beer. It's a little bit hissy and fizzy with the carbonation. You can feel it pushing the beer on the inside of the mouth. It might be that it's rum barrel aged or something. I tell you what, the, the best idea would be to try and translate Swedish, which I'm never going to be able to do. Um, yeah, that's more or less impossible for me. So what we'll do, we'll try our very best to get this camera to focus on the writing on the label if it wants to do that it doesn't want to do that does it of course it doesn't hang on a minute hang on a minute apparently if you oh there we go look at that right if you're in sweden now please pause the video and you'll be able to hopefully translate that into the comments box below so i know what's going on but it seems to have some spirit or something in there maybe it's the saffron maybe saffron some kind of imperial strength drink that I don't know about. But I'm going to rate this anyway. Hawkan, this was brilliant. I really liked it. Uh, my initial concern about the Imperial Stout not having great big thick body has subsided. I mean, it's 11% ABV. There's no real sign. There's a little bit of a warming of the alcohol as the beer slips down the neck into the stomach. You can feel that warming sensation, which is great. And which is why we probably all drink Imperial Stouts. But this beer is a beauty of a beer. It really is. Loads and loads of flavour going on. I really, really like that. It's a Stone the Crows 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.